Every year, millions enjoy Southern California's bright sandy beaches and colorful coastline. Yet few realize just offshore from some of the busiest ports in the modern world lies a forest in the sea, an amber glade that's home to a wealth of creatures, both strange and wonderful. Where cold deep water currents meet warmer surface waters, resulting in an explosion of life. A world we explore today on our journey to an undersea rainforest. The heart of this forest is the giant kelp plant, largest in the sea. Stretching over 100 feet from end to end, it can be a long journey to the bottom of a single plant, but it's a trip that's well worth taking. Here is home to hundreds of species, a thriving community unlike any other on Earth. Camouflage is the name of the game, with many residents sporting deep red hues matching the colors of the reef. Others rely on the sharp spines of a sea urchin to protect them from predators. The giant kelpfish uses its blade-like body to hide among the leaves and can even change color to match its surroundings. Forest predators like the scorpion fish and angel shark use their camouflage to ambush prey. The California moray, another ambush predator, is nearly blind but possesses a keen sense of smell. A resourceful octopus comes across an abandoned bait jar, making quick work of the lid in order to greedily extract the contents. Literally stuffed to the gills, this octopus has no intention of sharing his prize with anyone. Other invertebrates share the octopus's reef. Vibrant flatworms and blue ring top snails add magic to this undersea realm. But for sheer color and variety, few can rival the diminutive nudibranch. Nudibranchs are a suborder of sea slugs which breathe by the use of feathery gill-like structures on their back. Like the octopus, they're mollusks who've lost their shells. Their bright coloration lets predators know that they are toxic. In fact, the only thing most nudibranchs fear is another nudibranch. This is Navanax, a predatory species that feeds on its colorful cousins. Sensing danger, this Spanish shawl has a trick up its sleeve. It can detach itself from the reef and gracefully flap to safety like a brightly colored undersea angel. Not all sea slugs are small. The behemoth of the family is Aplysia vacaria, the giant sea hare. Size means little to the bold Garibaldi, however, who is willing to try anything once. A scythe butterfly fish looks on from her rocky perch, while our Garibaldi is off on another adventure. He stops to investigate a pair of juvenile sheephead, squaring off in a contest for territory. A small orange fish piques his curiosity. Our little friend has no way of knowing that he's encountered a juvenile sea bass who will grow to over 600 pounds. At the forest edge, scores of fish enter, hoping to find safe haven from the open sea. But the hiding place of one species is the hunting ground of another. Sea lions twist and turn through the kelp like acrobats. Life is easy for sea lions. They seem to thrive on recreation. All except the beach master, 
who keeps a constant vigil on his harem, protecting it from intruders. Here, perhaps, we will learn the most about our own species. We may learn whether we are only a predator, grown so powerful and uncaring as to harm this magical realm, or whether we have the wisdom to respect life in all its forms.